Hello, beautiful souls. And those with the gift of illumination often have that beautiful rebellious spirit that says, I am going to bring to the light all of these shadows, all of these unconscious aspects. I'm going to air out the dirty laundry here, so to speak. And for this reason, they are often then rejected by those particular places, spaces, environments, etc. Because of the way that they do bring those unconscious dynamics that some people are not ready to face to the surface, if you are someone who has been resonating with the majority of this information, and you've made it this far, it is very likely that you do have this particular soul specialty, this gift of illumination. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, those who have the gift of illumination particularly tend to struggle with taking on a lot of the pain from other people. This is because we, having gone through so much shadow ourselves, are able to so clearly see and, in a sense, empathize with these shadow aspects in other people. Because of this empathic absorption that you will be experiencing as someone with this gift, it is so essential to find tools that work for you as daily energetic hygiene, daily energy clearing practices, whether that's breathwork, getting out into nature, exercising, moving your body, nourishing yourself, whatever that is for you personally. Now, in my experience, I found that meditating with subliminals has been, for me, the most powerful tool and resource that I have used to clear out my energy and also to direct that energy into channels, avenues, visions of things that I desire in order to manifest. I started using subliminals a few years ago, and since then I have seen radical changes and transformations in all areas of my life. Prior to that point, I had tried other forms of manifestation, other types of techniques to manifest, but nothing has worked as powerfully for me as subliminals. And this is because subliminals are actually targeted to the subconscious parts of the mind, and these subconscious parts make up 95% of our thoughts, which of course, those of us who are into the law of attraction, know that our thoughts then generate a kind of energy that attracts back to us the things that we are attempting to manifest, the things that we desire. So, reprogramming your subconscious mind through meditating with subliminals is a really powerful way to shift the balance of your own energy equation and make yourself magnetic for the things you desire in life. It's really my goal to reconnect you with your own sense of intuition, to confirm that for you. So, if something isn't lining up with your intuition, of course, just leave it here and only take what is connecting with you personally. For some reason, I saw the image of a tiger. That might be significant to someone. I also heard the word grief. That could be relevant to someone in some way. Maybe someone is literally grieving, or someone near you is grieving. This also could be grief in a very symbolic sense, Someone who is, I'm hearing, grieving without a known cause, like just feeling a lot of heavy, intense, possibly even sad emotions without really knowing the source of them. From Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe.